The vivacious evening has arrived again. And guess, this is the time for Global Talk Show by Business Bar Academy, Netherlands. And today, we have an amazing, beautiful guest from, uh, you can know by seeing her background, Las Vegas, from USA, welcome, Melissa Patrick. So she is here, and I am so, so super excited to host her today. Welcome, Melissa, to our show, and it's been a great privilege hosting you. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. It's great to see you again. And I'm happy to talk with you. Sure. You and this is amazing when you are here because most of the global audience wants to know about various marketing and branding tactics which Melissa is having in her knowledge. So let's start this beautiful, this great journey which is going to be so, so inspiring for the people, for the global audience. So no more delay, any more second. Melissa, once again, I would love to know, because we all know you are doing fabulous work in social media, which I always see. But still, my global audience wants to know your incredible and your inspiring journey. So kindly enlighten. Sure. So my marketing journey started very early when I just started working. So um, I think I just had a knack for it. I uh, have a background in psychology. So um, my very first job, I was tapped um, as a teenager by the marketing director to take over. And I'm a teenager. So it was um, just group events and parties and from there, my next job was um, managing, again, group events and parties. And from there, I went to business development at a car dealership. And I just continued to grow and grow and grow. Um, so from there, I went to, I moved to Vegas and came here and worked in slot marketing, which is kind of entry level. Um and I took a stint as a table games dealer, um, but it's still in marketing because um, when you work on the strip, it's very, it's hard to describe. It, it's really stringent with the protocol. Like you have, it's constant promotion, promotion, promotion. So um, just this entire, my entire employment career has just been promotion, marketing, and this whole time I'm just learning and learning and learning and um so where am I now <laughs> I'm going from casino and then um oh and then to my next position in integrated marketing um which is also integrated with customer experience customer service um which was great because you learn people and you learn how to market to people. And then um, it was a great learning experience Spent many years there. And then on to um, um, just customer experience. And then it's just, and I'm freelancing here. And then um, on to my position now, um, chief marketing officer overseeing the department um you know just with the whole like marketing 101 thing so um you know making brand kits branding myself which I feel is really important so when you brand yourself you can you know brand a company um so what I like to promote is not necessarily having to go to school for marketing or business or anything like that so I wrote an article or a post on my um what is it on my profile that you don't necessarily need to spend all this money and go to school to achieve a marketing career because from my experience I just you know you just start from the bottom and work your way up 
So, and you, you learn and you grow and you have mentors and everything like that. So, um, my experience may be different, but it's mine and, um, it's been great. It's been great. This is really awesome. Melissa, I will say only one thing. Yes, I do reciprocate the same with you. People spend so much in their career for getting a marketing degree and they want to learn everything in marketing and all the nitty gritty things. But yes, your journey, I must say this is so inspiring because you learned from your experiences. And yes, Melissa, experiences are the best teachers. They will guide you, they will show you the way and they will tell you how to do things better rather than studying everything from the book or theoretical knowledge. So this is really great. I must appreciate the way you took your career, the way you took your marketing and branding. This is really amazing. In today's scenario, when we talk about business digitalization, so everywhere is marketing, branding, and we all are seen in the social media. So hats off to you, Melissa, for taking your career in such a nice and such a valuable manner, which everybody who is watching this video in three platforms, they are going to get a lot of knowledge and a lot of inspiration for their career too, if they are pursuing in marketing. Thank you so much for this lovely start, sir. Well, okay. Melissa, where you are today at such a great place, such a great height of success. And I am so excited to know what kind of challenges you had faced in your life as a woman or as an entrepreneur or as a professional. So kindly enlighten those challenges and how did you overcome those challenges in your life and made yourself once again? Absolutely. Um, that is something that is very important to me even now and is something that I, I'm very happy you gave me the opportunity to discuss because um, it is, I believe, an issue that needs to be discussed more and needs to be um, brought to the forefront. It is so hard to be a woman um, trying to work her way up, uh, trying to work, uh, trying to achieve that upward mobility is um, so hard. And um, the older you get, it gets even harder. So, um, you know, I, I can just say from my experience, you know, um, I, it, it, at this point, I'm definitely not the youngest in the room, you know, so to achieve any, any further upward mobility is so extremely difficult. And I feel just from, you know, looking around, looking around me that it is because of these reasons being female being I can't even say you know you know I, I can't even touch on the subject of age you can't when you're female you can't touch on the subject of age because you can't even give a, a roundabout because it's there's a lot of discrimination out there so um those are the challenges that I faced and those are the challenges that I face now and um, when you're younger it's hard to be taken seriously um, and the older you get when you are taken seriously it's it's hard to be you know kind of move up and um, when you are at a certain age to be taken seriously and your skill set is recognized, then, well, companies want someone who's younger and more exciting, seemingly more exciting and energetic and knows the, you know, so it's kind of a catch 22, you know, and, and knows the, the, the younger crowds, you know, so it's, it's kind of a catch 22. You're not taken seriously until you are taken seriously. And by the time you're taken seriously, 
companies want someone who's younger and more like like I mentioned more energetic and and with the you know the the Gen Z stuff you know they're so cool and they're so exciting you know and and maybe older women are not perceived as such and not perceived as as having that kind of knowledge and stuff like that so it's it's challenging being um older and being female is is a big challenge i do agree but melissa i must say one thing that the kind of loveliest inspiring journey which you are narrating live now yes we do all face challenges but the challenges which you had discussed over here are really really true i agree with you all the companies want certain type of qualities and uh, as you grow up you had all kind of experiences in life so this is true but also i must appreciate your intelligence your knowledge your experience the way you handled your challenges in a very positive manner how your perspective is important your way of seeing the things that's most important melissa and i must say you did wonders you did in a very professional in a very cool manner remain the way you are and yes in the due course of life we will uh, we will face and we all are facing the challenges are just like buddies you know they they just make you ignite they just make you sparkle if there will be no challenges we feel bored with our life so that that we can see and i'm i'm so happy that the way you handled was really really great inspiring and the female leaders who are watching us live they are going to get a lot of inspiration from your way of tackling your challenges so this is really awesome and i must appreciate your answer melissa awesome one <laughs> thank you dr sapir well now we are moving to the section where i am so excited to know about melissa's work job profile what kind of work you are into or profession so kindly enlighten to our global audience it would be lovely to know that i am um and i've been doing this uh probably for quite a while um i freelance it is um just kind of something i fell into so my i use my marketing skills for companies that are uh just kind of looking for some guidance you know kind of on the on the go <laughs> marketing on the go so i guess that would be the best to describe at this moment yeah. um so that's where i am on my um employment journey um definitely something i would like a little more permanence something i can probably settle down a little more with but at the moment that's what i'm doing and you know i'm happy to yeah. uh just be you know being able to use my skills to, uh, and you are doing great in marketing we can see when we open our laptop and you open our mobile that melissa is doing wonderful things and here i would love to connect my global audience which we are visible in 50 countries right now she is a marketing specialist if you have such requirements if you want to go take some help she is there she is going to help you in your life journey where you can say you are the best version of yourself so i guarantee about melissa's melissa's work melissa's dedication and most important her hard working and never give up attitude so these are the beautiful attributes of melissa's incredible professional journey and we should appreciate such a young lady such a beautiful lady is marching forward with a lot of zest and zeal i appreciate you i respect you melissa for your awesome work which you are doing now thank you so much dr spriya 
Well, moving to this loveliest journey with Melissa. Now it's time to know about Melissa's dreams, Melissa's plans, her vision, her mission. So let's have a look in this story. Sure. So my uh, vision for the future, of course, I would love to stay in marketing. Um, that's just, that's just what I just, um, how to put it into words, just what I'm good at, what has been, what I've been doing for so many years. So marketing is my future. Um, and uh, I would, on like a personal level, love to be able to live with my husband if I could ever, <laughs> if um, his country could ever let him go, even though we are married. It is a... Uh, kind of a, I don't want to get too off topic, it is kind of a fascist situation over there right now, and um, they won't let him go. So, though we're married and we have the documentation, um, we recently had an experience, um, and please stop me if I'm getting too far off topic. Um, I, I, I am interested and involved in global um, uh, interests, affairs, I guess, through kudos, as you know, um, with the situation going on over in Ukraine. My husband's Ukrainian, and we can't be together, and um, this is because they won't let him go, um, even though we're married and have other legal, um, meet other legal requirements that, um, anyways, the border they took our marriage certificate and um laughed at it and the lady border guard was eating a donut on it and staring at me um and you know said no so um this is kind of where i'm at personally um this is one of the my missions personally is um exposing this injustice exposing actually what is going on right now it's not what you see in the news it's um propaganda on both sides uh, i've seen it firsthand um so i just want uh justice for him um and justice for everybody um involved in uh all the world ills and you know my i fly the flag of peace so um, that, that's me personally right now, of course, um, my career path is marketing. My personal path is, um, working with, uh, uh, companies, groups like Kudos to, um, achieve greater things such as peace. Of course, I want my husband to be with me. <laughs> So um, that's Marissa, where I'm at right now. I will say here only one thing when you told about your personal dreams, your professional dreams, and I want you should get what you desire, Melissa, whether it is personal or whether it is professional. And I'm sure when we meet next time in coming months, you will tell me, yes, Supriya, I have accomplished my all dreams, my all vision, my all mission, because according to law of attraction, Melissa, this is my experience. What we desire, what we think, what we daily manifest in the form of positive affirmations, it will happen. You just, you just see, I know your situation. Yes, it's very, 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 very painful. But above all pain, there is a something called positivity which you are having, I can sense the positive vibes from your country to here. And definitely, Melissa, you are so strong woman. You are inspiring today millions with your work, with your career, with your professional, with your, uh, you can say professional journey is awesome. Your professional and your personal, 
everything. You are doing great. So good things are on your way. And just believe miracles are going to happen in your life soon. You're going to accomplish what you are dreaming now. And trust me, it will happen. So keep faith, keep hope, and keep soaring high in your life because the moment we lose hope, we just get cut off with God, with the almighty power. And, and this is true, Melissa, that whatever we are doing today in your personal or professional or all judgment or all deeds or all, you know, in the form of karmas, you know, all are being witnessed by one almighty power. So trust in him, trust in the Lord power. He is going to show you the way and in coming months, you will be free from all your troubles soon. And this is my heartiest wishes from my heart and bottom of the soul. So keep moving on. Great one. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. So now only one. Uh, Melissa, what message would you love to give to your global audience? Because since you inspired everyone from the beginning, but still people are waiting for your great message. So kindly enlighten everyone with your great message. Never give up. Um, what you are striving for, you will achieve. And you just have to keep trying. There is always another way. If this way isn't working, circumnavigate it and try it from another angle and you will get there. It will happen. Super awesome, Melissa, for your great, crispy and powerful message. And I hope people would love to see this talk show once again, on and on, on and on, because your life has really inspired and touched millions today. So thank you so much for coming to our show and enlightening this beautiful journey with the world today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. Take care.